So recently, we hit 100 subscribers on this YouTube channel, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support and love. I really wanted to do a more special and unique video to celebrate this occasion, but I was kind of having trouble thinking of a video idea. However, it then hit me. During high school, I decided to pursue the scam known as Pulse Secondary, going to computer science at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Because they were the only decent place that would take me. Stop! On September the 3rd, 2022, I had to move out into my residence, and so I wanted to answer the question. Can you fit a $3,000 plus gaming setup into half a room? Along with a whole ass Ubuntu server. Well, I'm not telling you the answer. Watch the rest of the video to find out. Fortnite! So essentially, this is my bedroom before I move into university. You know, I got some nice sheets over here. My parents say having sheets like this makes me like a girl, but fuck you. I like pretty colors, okay? Don't judge. I got, you know, Appa sitting over here. What the fuck? Gift from a friend. I got the portrait from school. I got the bunch of the books. Piercy Jackson. Oh my god, so cool. And uh, yeah, this is my room. Also, another gift from a friend. His name is Ivan. This is the room where I have my computer and my setup. My room doesn't normally look like this, and it's because I forgot to record all this before I started tearing things apart and moving out. So I'll just show you some pictures of the setup and room on the screen right now. Okay, I might have lied since I didn't have any good recent pictures. So here's an older one, my PC when I upgraded it during the summer, and my server. See, the problem with moving is that I have to bring the server into my res. I don't know if I can fit this computer case and that computer case and then the vase mount with the two monitors in my residence because it's like so small. But I'm gonna have to try because I need this and I won't be able to live if I don't actually have my computer. The thing with moving this is that it's got hard drives and when hard drives get tumbled and when you touch them without consent, they, they, they kind of break on you, you know? So like I kind of took them out. I had to like label all the goddamn static cables in there and all that kind of stuff just so they're in the right order and I like stuck them in a box over here and there's like a shit ton of padding in there just so they don't break <laughs> on the way to my res if my hard drives break I am fucking screwed uh. Ugh, excuse me. One more thing, um, I have to move my old CPU cooler from my old PC case and stuff into my server. Um, it's running the stock fan right now and I gotta replace this. So yeah, I gotta do that right now. And for, fuck. And for you nerds like me, if you're interested in the specs of my server and in my PC, they're gonna be in the description. They're gonna be a PC part picker link. You know, I'm like trying to take apart everything and my nose is fucking dying from all the dust. Mm. Like I can't show my face, but if you see my nose right now, it's just bright red. Just a big circle on my goddamn face. Jesus Christ, my floor is fucking disgusting. It's just styrofoam everywhere. Oh God, oh Jesus. Oh. never been used for mining it's LHR you know if anybody wants to pay me a uh, 2000 there it's as good as new yeah I definitely didn't spend like 10 minutes putting the styrofoam on the wrong way I did the same thing for the other PC how did I fuck this up the second time look I'm kind of retarded no one hire me at Amazon to package this shit <laughs> on move-in day, I saw so many people using duffel bags, and honestly, I'm jealous. The number of things you can just shove in there and still have a compact, lightweight, and easy-to-carry piece of luggage, it's so nice! But I didn't have that privilege. I had suitcases, bags, tons of boxes, a laundry basket, and a garbage bin. I mean, I guess I also had a roof bag to put on top of the car, but it's not like I can carry that whole thing around with me. My clothes went into the suitcases and my bags were used to house stationery, small peripherals, and small pieces of tech, like a PS3. Bruh. Anything else not in a suitcase or bag were packed into boxes, or anything box-like. Once that was done, my dad laid out the roof bag on the floor so we can plan out and maximize the amount of luggage we can fit into it. Hashtag big brain dad. Being satisfied with the layout, we unpackaged everything and installed the roof bag onto our car. However, after we painfully finished 
finished packing the roof bag onto the car. It was so hard to zip up. We realized that the bag was stuck as there wasn't enough clearance between the garage roof and the roof bag. Why? I'm in my mom's car. After dealing with that mess, every other piece of luggage was then packed into the back of the car where we just managed to not block the rear view mirror on the car. With the packing finally complete, it was time for move in day. Hey, you bitch! There's goddamn traffic! Ah! This audio is so unusable! You're correct! <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Ivan, look! It's an acacia tree! No! <laughs> it just looks like one! <laughs> I want a Starbucks. I could put it onto my credit card and add it to my lifetime debt. <laughs> Hi, um, do you guys have any strawberry cappuccino? Yeah. Can I have a venti? Sure. Uh, that's it. Perfect. Just the name for the order? Uh, Daniel. Okay. Pretty good. We're back on the road! <laughs> Kingston! Kingston! Yeah, I got the sign! Let's go! Amen! What the hell is this? It's too goddamn sweet. What are you doing to it? Too many sugar. What are you doing? It's too sugary. Ah. That's so much better. <laughs> it's better. What the hell? We're Why you keep doing this? We're spiking this with vodka. What? We're spiking this with vodka. What the hell, man? Vodka, vodka, man. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> there is way too much stuff huh? that I have. Where do you get a cart? Yeah, where do you get a cart? Uh, there we go. Quick update, the elevator's broken. I have to bring everything up one by one. Ivan, let's do this. Ivan, we have to repeat this progress how many times? Four! Four! The audio is for comedic Dude, purposes. You better fucking pay me after this, I swear to God. Huh? You owe me like at least 15 bucks after this. I don't know, just throw a pillow at no, you. you owe me money, bro. Nah, mate. Nah. What the fuck did he just step on? Your mom. <laughs> a few moments later. Bro, I literally said this way. Shut up. The viewer. in a circle. The viewers can't see, they don't know. No, bro, we just. The viewers can't see, they don't know. Why am I still carrying your camera case? Wait, why are you still carrying my camera case? Are you stupid? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, I wanna die. Oh, oh my arms are sweaty. What are you? Oh, good, I got a closet for all the boxes. Alright, let's go. Wait, on this, bro? Oh, there's more shit. Down the flights of stairs again. Oh my god, it's coming. She got the loot. Take the mythic chest. Grab the golden scar. Okay, so essentially my roommate isn't in here right now and my parents just left. This is pretty much the dorm room. I gotta put my server back together with the uh, hard drives and stuff that's all packaged nicely in here. And then I gotta bring out my actual computer. There's a problem and um, the bag where I had the vase amounts and screws and stuff, we lost it. It's either at home. So I have to put my monitor on a scarf. It's just so it can stay in place and I can actually use it. And honestly, the cables are really short and the cables are all like 
under the beds and that kind of stuff and like the ethernet port is over there and then the router's up here and then since my computers need ethernet there's a long ass cable running over here and it goes to my little uh, network switch here and then that's how my computers are going to have internet the room is really messy right now but eventually it will uh it will get better And so it turns out, yes, I can fit my $3,000 plus gaming setup into half a room alongside my Ubuntu server. The rest of the room looked like this back in September. It's currently March 26, 2023 at the time of this audio recording. So yes, guys, I am so sorry. It's been seven months and this move-in video is being released so late. University has just been a grind and on top of all of my commitments, I just haven't found a lot of time to finish this video. In fact, I'm kind of panicking since there's two weeks left for me to release this video and the room review. Well, two weeks left until exam season. God fucking damn it, better not fail calculus. I actually originally wanted this video to be in two sections, the move-in vlog, which is what you guys just saw, and my personal in-depth review of the room. Then I would release the room review as a standalone video as well, but I decided that it's better just to separate the two completely. This way the video won't be like 30 minutes, it'll be out earlier, and for a whole bunch more reasons, it's just gonna be a lot better. The review itself is going to be scripted since I've um, had some problems filming it live. So the stupid thing about this desk is that you can't route any cables behind- How the fuck did he do that? They're kicking me out of residence by the end of April. Since I still have to film everything, I need to finish most of the review by then, so hopefully I'll be releasing it in the upcoming weeks. But anyways, the part that goes before the review that's released in the next couple of weeks I was originally supposed to be in this video. If you're like me, doing research on the different residences that Queen's University offers, you'll notice that there's pretty much no information regarding Leonard Hall that you can find online. Brands, Victoria, Gordon, they all have a healthy amount of videos online that give you a good idea of what the residences are actually like. However, for Leonard Hall, you only have these two videos from Queen's U Residences, and they're dog shit. I literally click on the video and my eardrums get blown up by the loud, royalty-free music. <laughs> then, while I'm trying to pay attention to what's being shown on the screen, the video decides to crossfade every fucking second, like... This, this is bullshit. When it came time for my 100 subscriber special video, I felt like this would be a good opportunity for me to put out my own review of the dorm. So let's not waste any more time, here's my tour and review of Queen's University's Leonard Hall Double Room, where I talk about everything. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I wrote that before I separated everything. Well, see you guys in the next couple of weeks. Bye! Fuck, I hit my mic! Fuck sand, I hate sand.